why do I look so orange? Today we are going to look at some of my old videos and that is taking a journey through cringy, cringy moments. Let's jump right in. First comes first, one of my very first attempts at making parody. This is from 2004 with my good friend Sopika Guramishvili and well you'll see. Warning, the audio is terrible and that's why it was not uploaded to the official Chess24 channel but LDB's David Martinez has it on his personal channel. Hello everybody, welcome to Chess24 and to broadcast of No Logo, No Way Chess. I'm International Master Sopika Guramishvili. I'm Grandmaster Jan Gustafsson. Jan Gustafsson is a Grandmaster and also colleague of ours and this is supposed to be a parody on him. So I am Jan and the curly hair, ignore that. It, and yeah, eyeliner and all. I'm trying to be a man here. Pretty today, so please forgive me that I'm not going to be looking at him during this video. Uh, thank you for the compliments, Opiko. You're welcome, Jan. So what do you think about the participants of Norway Chess? Well, well, well... I think the clear favorite is Carson. By the way, have you seen our... Okay, I think we have seen enough. <laughs> we have seen enough. This is not really funny and I definitely don't look like Jan. I was trying to copy his gestures if you wanna check out the actual Jan Gustafsson. He is the person I was trying to impersonate. No, the individual team, yeah. <laughs> Very sharp. I'm gonna give this a 2 for the attempt, but we clearly failed at setting the audio properly and also I don't think it's really funny. It was a good attempt back then and two months later Sopika and I made another video where we actually had wigs on. So on the right that's Jan Gustafsson and on the left that's Lawrence Trent. This was scripted by the two of us, we memorized the script and then we tried to act it out. Let's take a look. Now let's have a bit Darth Vader and bother Lawrence with some unnecessary questions. Tell us, Lawrence, what you're up to when you're not in the studio, commenting super tournaments and your own blitz games? Well, actually... Can we just appreciate how ridiculous those wigs look like? I remember going to the costume store with Sofika. Oh, this was, by the way, a good moment to pause the video. Let's just have Sofika with opened eyes. We went to buy wigs, but uh, we couldn't really find their hairstyles in the wig store. So we ended up cutting a long haired wig. My one, I think that was like a shoulder length kind of hairstyle and we cut it down to what it is now and so because one too was just a female wig and we chopped it all the way down to what you can see in the picture uh, in terms of the recording i also remember <laughs> that i could barely stop myself from laughing so the whole filming i was bursting out in unnecessary moments and this was about the sixth or seventh attempt when i managed to not laugh at any random parts but you can see sometimes on my face that i'm just smiling too much because i'm about to laugh but then i stop myself from laughing um, <laughs> that moment this all was by the way a year after we started working in the studio so by this time i had a year of practice working in front of the camera working in a studio environment i'm gonna show you at the end of this video my very first video which is gonna be even worse than these ones but before we get to that highlight of today let's see some more clips this was Sopiko and me two years later making a vlog in the netherlands one of my first vlogs first ever vlogs and i really like vlogging ever since that's me in case you haven't noticed it was very cold. Actually, this footage had audio as well, but it was so windy that uh, without a windshield, of course I had no windshield, the audio was impossible to use. So it ended up being just a music clip of us fooling around at the beach in January in the Netherlands. This is me trying to do like a star. I don't even know what that was. I think at the end of the video we, we do talk. During the 
Yeah, we show around a little bit the village. There are lots of chess stars uh, during the Teta Steel tournament in Vaikanze. And yeah, I still had my long curls and all. It's so <laughs> strange to look back at footage like this. But let's continue. Let's move on to the same year but September so about half a year difference you see that now I'm looking more like myself I chopped my hair and ever since I never got back to the long curls this was in Baku Azerbaijan I was there as a reporter of the chess Olympiad and my task was to try out lots of cool stuff chess and non chess activities related to the chess Olympiad this was a virtual reality stand and here I'm trying to play a game of chess in virtual reality. Okay, put this Thank on you. And don't be scared. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. I think it's the first time what? that I had a it VR set on my head. I'm seeing a completely different world right now. Okay, no worries. Hey. Uh, why? <laughs> <Just a second. laughs> okay. Yeah. Now you will play wow. with chess master Tamer Rajava, okay? Yeah, perfect. I've never played against him and I would love to challenge him. Chess Olympiad, Baku 2016 okay, and... We'll oh, hi, nice meeting you! <laughs> wow! I was challenging to have the goggles on my eyes and talk into the microphone at the same time. Look how expert I am at picking up a chess piece in virtual reality. Oh my god! Try it. Not so easy! <laughs> okay, for, uh, now, now release your fingers. <laughs> it's all the wrong way. Yeah. I couldn't. I, I made lots of highlight videos like this in Baku and I really enjoyed that job. I got to do a lot of cool stuff and I think by this point I was pretty comfortable in front of the camera but this is three, three and a half years after I started working in the Chess24 studios in Hamburg. So three and a half years later I can say I was more or less okay in front of the camera but it was a long journey. It's a long journey to be a natural on camera and uh, talk like normal, like a normal person. Let's switch to the next clip. This was when I played a chess match against the world and I wanted to make an announcement video about it. I filmed it at home in Spain all by myself and then I edited it all by myself. The recording took place at around 10 p.m. and I finished editing the video at around 4 or 5 a.m. This is how it used to be when I had no help in terms of how to film and how to edit a video properly. Let's check it out. Hello, chess community! The audio is not even in sync! Yoo-hoo! And I'm wearing well, a level here. That. You should care about it because today I am taking on the world. I am challenging you for a game of chess. The event is hosted by... And here the audio is just so different because I did a voiceover. I didn't know back then that I'm supposed to be talking the same way as if I was on camera. Later on... This was my favorite part when I show that I'm getting ready for this match against the world and I have a trainer. Let's take a look. Now I decided that since I'm taking on 5,000 people, I should discuss the strategy as well with my trainer. And that was it. Last year I produced more videos and these were some of my vlogs from the Pro Chess League Finals in San Francisco. I recorded everything with my phone, my current phone is a Huawei P10 and I edited everything on my phone. That's a bottle of Armenian spirit with my face on the bottle. You can see how shaky the video is at this part where there's not enough light since it was only my, my phone's camera. And I remember editing it too on the phone. It meant that I had to download the video editing app. I used GoPros. Quick, I think it's called the app. It's actually a very handy app for someone who doesn't know anything about editing, this was a perfect solution. But I ended up editing every day till very late at night, since we were working during the full day and then had dinner together as a team. I would end up editing till 2-3 a.m. every night in our hotel room that I shared with Alexandra. That's where we got to become 
uh, very good friends. Here's Alex and me after leaving the Twitch headquarters in San Francisco. But apart from that, we love it here. I mean, Alexander lives here, uh, but we love the event yes, in general. Of course. We've just seen the Twitch headquarters, which is not something that everybody can say. As for streamers, for us, true. It's, it's a true, it's a true honor. There's also some footage from the Twitch headquarters. Mm, not this was still the venue. <laughs> that's that's me making <laughs> an interview. <laughs> no, we just needed to record the players saying a few words about themselves, and I was not supposed to be in the video, so I'm just holding the microphone. Yeah, really nice memories. I like to look back at these vlogs because I had such a good time there in California with the chess.com team and Alexandra. So even though these videos are not very high quality phone recording and phone editing, I really like to I really like to replay them and I don't cringe that much over these videos because they bring back really nice memories. The same year, a month later, I recorded a sign language video with my sister. She's a sign language interpreter and she was trying to teach me sign language in this clip. Now I'm a little bit over exaggerating my expressions, but I really was very bad at trying to copy her gestures and signs. So the video is about me trying and failing and failing again. But overall I think it's a fun clip and I never made any similar style videos so it was also something new to create. This one I upgraded my editing skills at this point. I edited it on an iPad with Apple's editing app which is... What is it called? iTunes? iTunes? No, iMovies! <laughs> that was all I could do back then. Somehow transfer the files to my iPad and edit them with iMovies. But this is also a really nice memory when my sister was visiting me in Spain. So I, I do like this clip. I do like it. Next up, same year but in the autumn. This was an event in Denmark where Fiona and I went to in Copenhagen. A nightclub chess event. We are about to attend the weirdest, coolest chess event of the year, the or maybe epic. the century, shall we call it the most epic of the century. We don't know it yet, we don't know what to expect. I love it. We have, um, how shall we call it, totally normal chess outfits. <laughs> maybe Totally normal. And this was also the first time I had my hair cut with a, a fringe. This was a big change for me that I never really had a fringe since I was like 12. Maybe that was the last time in my life when my hairstyle was like that. And I decided that I needed a change in my life and I went to my hairdresser and this is what happened to my hair. And it kind of stayed like that ever since. So on uh, for the female team in the Battle of the Sexes, we have the always vlogging Anna Rudolph. <laughs> Just imagine holding a camera where there are a couple of people, well actually quite a crowd, looking at you as you are being presented at this event. There was quite some space downstairs but also upstairs, I think it will be seen in the video. It, I felt like it was a gladiator fight because the whole surrounding was so interesting with that balcony view. I'm gonna show it now. Well, just believe me, it felt like being a gladiator. In terms of the vlog, I think it's a fun clip because it brings back the atmosphere of this very unique event and I can relive those moments. So I do like to look back at these videos and the previous vlogs I showed you as if it was my diary. It's kind of like... A journey through my memories and they are all on my youtube channel these recent vlogs so you can relive my memories through these clips now before i get as usual too emotional let's see a few more clips there's one more that i prepared actually another vlog this was the time alexandra and i went on holidays in barcelona september 2018 and we just had an amazing time. It was only a few day holiday, but we both needed a break. We are streaming and recording constantly, which means that we kind of need to be all the time this public figure. And uh, I think we needed a break. We both were like, we are, we are getting really drained because of this lifestyle that we do enjoy a lot, but it's taking a lot of energy and it takes a lot of resources 
to keep going, to keep creating content. So we went on the holidays and I didn't want to be recording, but at the same time, as you can see from my other videos, I do like to look back at older clips and relive those moments. So I filmed only very small clips during our holidays and then I threw them together. It's a 57 second video with Ed Sheeran's Barcelona because I love that song and well, it was very fitting. Let's take a look at these 57 second. Okay, I need to stop this here. I need to stop it because I'm this happy because I managed to blow up three of the balloons. I had to throw darts. I had three of them and I needed three out of three. I needed to score three out of three in order to win a prize. And I'm a very clumsy person, you know how clumsy I am, but somehow I focused so much that I managed to achieve it. It wasn't easy. Not many people were getting prices from this store, but somehow I succeeded and it was a highlight for me too, that I can accomplish something that I thought was impossible. <laughs> Doing the same dance. I really like that clip, <laughs> not because I made it, but because of the memories. I, I don't think any of these videos that we have seen are particularly well produced, nicely filmed, or have any deeper meaning than what they are. Most of these were vlogs and they just are a fun way for me to keep track of what has been happening to me and I, sort of like an open diary. I feel like. But yes, these have been the past few years and I promised that I was going to show you the very first video I recorded. So if you are ready, let's do this. We are back in 2013, around May, the time I started working for Chess24. That was my first on-camera job. I had to fly to Hamburg and film in a green screen studio. This is what came out of that filming session. Hello everyone, I'm Bowman Grandmaster Anna Rudolf and in the next videos I will Why is the video frozen? Give me a moment. Let's try Hello this one everyone. more time. I'm Bowman Grandmaster Anna Rudolf and in the next videos I will talk about something that dates back to the 23rd of July in 1976. A little girl was born on that day in Hungary. She had two sisters and the three were brought up on a very special way. Okay, I think we have seen enough. <laughs> this was six and a half years ago. First time I was in front of the camera recording and I clearly lacked experience, confidence, overall presentation skills and a couple of more attributes that makes a good content creator. I cringe when I see a footage like this and unfortunately these still exist on Chess24, my first video series. At the same time, I guess I should be happy that I have improved. I feel like I have improved a lot since that stage when I was not really comfortable being on camera and being in a studio environment. Well, how could have I been comfortable if I had never in my life done anything like this before? But it's been a long learning process and I think I can still improve a lot. So if you see this footage, I think it clearly proves that anyone can learn any skills because that girl six and a half years ago <laughs> was not good was definitely not good at making videos i hope that you enjoyed this video looking at my old clips i left the year 2019 out because i felt like if you want me to do a similar video that could be a separate topic the year 2019 i started streaming more and i have done some crazy crazy shit on air including getting a unibrow dyeing my hair pink on air wearing a bin bag and dancing to britney spears and even proposing marriage to my good friend alexandra if you would like me to react to those moments of my streaming career 
please let me know in the comments below and I will make your dream come true. But until then, I hope that you are having a wonderful day and I shall see you in the next video. Bye for now. Oh my. <laughs>